Why, you stuck-up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder! Hi, and uh, welcome to the Dave Cave. Um, I was planning to do my next video um, on show-and-tell of some vintage figures um, in my collection. And in pre preparing for that, I was just sorting through some of my some things in the cabinets. And something happened which can come to any collector and it's the yellowing of a bubble um, on a carded figure it's actually not pick oh, there we go you can see it excuse me squinting i should put my glasses on really <laughs> i don't i keep them off because of the reflection it's something i'm using with youtube is the reflection but this um vintage figure um off layer on a Jedi card. Uh, I know people prefer having these things like this on, on an Empire card, but it had a lovely, it just had a clear bubble. I've had this for, um, uh, God blimey, 10 years, I think, this one. And so it's 79p. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 79p. Um, oh, I paid, I didn't pay 79p for that. But I took it, you know. Some people, you know, some some people like getting figures signed, and some some don't. Some say it actually um, devalues the card, but um, I thought it had extra value, especially you know, sadly Carrie Fisher's not with us. It sort of adds uh, it's a little bit more sentimental. And I never I never got things for to make money. I always got them because I loved them, I wanted to um, enjoy them. And I went to Florida, and uh, I met Carrie, and uh, I took a a um, a present, a knitted slave layer doll, um, and she was holding my hand. I remember security, they were trying to pull me out, <laughs> Carrie wouldn't let go of my hand. She loved this knitted slave layer doll. I'll, I'll put a, a picture up, um, find a picture and I'll put it in this video. But she, she, um, she signed this and a few other things um, at Star Wars Celebration in Florida. Um, now, I'm very careful of how I look after my cards. They're not all in uh, perspex cases and not all AFA like graded and to be honest I've seen figures anyway that have been um, in a perspex case turn yellow even inside the case now being a surveyor I've, you know I'm very conscious about humidity in the house um, I've got hygrometers placed all the way around which tells you the relative humidity and temperature and this my oh, we've lived here for two uh, two years but even in the previous house, my man cave was always completely blacked out. Um, made sure there was um, proper relative humidity. And um, so, yeah, so I've done everything that I should do. It's not been exposed to the sunlight. The only thing I think is when I did take it to Florida 10 years ago, did, did, the, um, did the heat do anything to it whilst I, whilst I was in Florida? I mean, but I mean, it's really just coming from the plane to the ho um, to the hotel room and the, the hotel to to the actual um, convention center in Orange County. I mean, I mean, could that have done that? I, I, don't, I don't know. Or is it just? Oh God, you can't, it's difficult. It looks worse um, in person, but um, this was a completely clear bubble, and it you can see it is on its way now. And um, I don't know. The, the camera don't do it. Oh, there you go. See, um, or is it just? I mean, it, you know. I, I mean, I know just as much as others. You know, from forums and things. You know, sometimes it's just the um, the the uh, the plastics they use. Then some figures are more prone to the others. Some people say twelve backs are more prone. Then some say no, that's not the case. So there's lots of confusing things, or you know, um, but it, it's really difficult. So. To, to see this, it, it's, really, it's really upsetting. And I mean, I've got a couple of figures that I've already, you know, I bought with a yellowing to it. Um, I mean, I've got this uh, uh, Bib Fortuna. Um, it was all, you know, I couldn't find a clear version of Bib Fortuna. They're always slightly. So is it just some are more susceptible to others? Is it um, defect with the plastic? You know, there's all sorts of things flying around. Um, about what the actual cause is, but 
Um, it is sad when it happens, and um, the fact that it's been in no sunlight and not been susceptible to a very high humidity. Um, I suppose it's either way, too humid, too air, too dry, but always keep it within the, the, the correct uh, uh, tolerance of uh, uh, relative humidity. Um, I've tried looking to see if there's been any changes in theory since, well, for, for more than what I know. Um, see, some figures are more prone than others, some perhaps are the chemical reaction between the figure and the bubble, yeah, you know, um, poor quality of plastics. Um, so I don't know. Um, it's a difficult one. I mean, there's others I've got that are still clear, it, but it's just a couple that started started turning, and um, they the. It does. It is heartbreaking. I must admit. When my wife looked at me when I had this figure, she thought I was going to cry. And it, um, especially when it's signed by Cat, by by Carrie. This one sort of was uh, quite personal. Um, it's difficult, difficult to know what to do because I, I've seen figures still in perspex cases turn yellow. So it's a, it's a difficult one. Um, I did think. Um, I could do a video on it, and I haven't seen anyone that's tried it, to be honest, is whether I take, I've got, this, this is a spare big Fortuna, is whether I could try doing some sort of plastic restore on it, whether it's, I don't know if I, um, hydrogen peroxide, I don't know, I'd be really scared to do that, I don't know, because it could run onto the car, or something. I don't know, but I, I've restored plastic um, headlights on cars, they yellow, they oxidise, but it, it's, a, it's a difficult one really. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you today, my pain of uh, cards turning yellow. Um, but this, this one was more upsetting because when I, I met Carrie and she was absolutely lovely and um, maybe it's just a poor quality. So there you go so anyway, this video was the first, my next video was going to be on one of my favorite um figures card of figures i have um and if that was to turn oh my god but I'll, I'll show you that in the next video i will i will show you that um but if you have any sort of ideas if there's been any sort of uh, uh innovation any sort of movements on this where people have actually found ways to restore it i think once the plastic starts going on something like this i mean because the i think on if you're talking about just a, a, yellow, a yellow loose figure then i guess the uv isn't totally penetrating through whereas if it's clear then the light's gonna go right through the plastic so it's telling probably affected the plastic to the full depth of the of the bubble um oh behind me so let me know what you think um you know let me know in the comments if there's anything that you can think of um certainly the people i've known that i know um they haven't been able to do anything with yellow figures and some may say you know it needs to, some of these need to be in um perspex cases but I've seen them still yellow. Um, yeah. Very upsetting. So yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, any advice? Like I said, I've known so many collectors over the years and um, similar issues and they haven't really, no, they don't seem to really have the knowledge to stop it. Um, it's keeping out the sunlight, humidity, and everything like that. Um, now this, again, it's, it's just totally blacked out. Um, this room, it's in a cab, it's in a glass glass cabinet. Um, and you think, could it react to? Is there something else in there? Is there another collectible that's giving something off? You know, that's reacting with, or is it just? I don't know. Luck of the draw. Some of the bubbles. Uh, just poor quality um, and plastic 
I mean, I'm going through some of the forms here. There's nothing has changed from what I can see over the years in restoring bubbles or how to prevent it. All the same things that I know already. Um, it, uh, grade of the plastic, it's all about grade of the plastic. Very few 12 backs have yellow bubbles. Oh yeah, this isn't a 12 back. Um, just trying to think. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I've not seen... 12 backs I have haven't, haven't yellowed on card so maybe I don't know maybe just after the 12 backs there is a different quality of plastic they used especially by the time it got I don't know by the time it got to the Jedi cards I don't know anyway sorry I could ramble on about this all day and I'll be in tears in a minute but um, I don't know let me know in the comments what you think like and subscribe um, do you think I should try a restoration on this this is I have a spare one but well I say spare but it is a sealed um, figure in its its history. Do I screw it up to, to try and um, figure out if there's a, a solution? Something that will really draw into the plastic. So I mean, it's, it works on car plastic car headlights. That's oxidation and the UV effect on the um, on it. Maybe I maybe, maybe if I was really careful. Maybe I could do a video showing you. It. And then if you see the figure just totally destroyed, then maybe that's, um, maybe, maybe someone out there has already done it. If you have, maybe send me the link. Has someone already tried restoring a yellowed card? I mean, hydrogen peroxide, if you were to paint that on, just, of course, it trying to be careful. And then if, it, if you put it in under UV or out in the sun, trying to cure it without just subject the figure inside to... Uh, UV damage. I don't know. Shall we do it? Maybe someone's already done it. If so, maybe send me the link because then I don't need to ruin a figure. Um, but I could do it. And um, we've got summer coming. I haven't got a UV light inside, but we've got some, some nice. We've had some nice sunny weather, so we could get some hydrogen peroxide or some the restore. I can't remember the name of the product I use for for the headlights, but it's like a Hess headlight restorer. Um, but maybe that. Let me know what you think. Should I give it a try? That's someone already tried it. Look, anyway, I'll ramble all day. I'm really upset. One more time. Very sad. Very sad. Anyway, like and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>